this morning as you lift up your voice and worship your maker, your creator, your savior. Can you worship the one who was, who is, and who is to come? Can you worship the unchangeable changer? Can you worship the only wise God? Can you worship the one that ruler in the affairs of men? Can you worship our source, our sustainer? Oh, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. He deserves all the adoration. Let's magnify him. The psalmist says, oh, let us magnify his name together. Let's go ahead and magnify him. For the Lord is merciful. The Lord is kind. The Lord is caring. Appreciate him for his ceaseless blessing. Thank him for all he did. Oh, in the first service, in the second service. Thank him because he deserved the best for the last. For better is the end of a team than the beginning thereof. Thank him because you will not leave your empty hand. Thank him because God himself will cause you to be partaker of this wave of glory. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have worshipped. I thought somebody would say a better amen. Can you please lift up your two hands to heaven? Everybody, let's stand on our feet. Lift up your two hands to heaven and you will cry loud and clear to your God, our God, our Father in heaven. This is our season of a new wave of glory. It will not elude you. It will not pass you by. You and your entire household will testify that indeed God has orchestrated a new wave of glory in your life. Each of your two and I say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, make me a partaker of the new wave of glory. And let the new wave of glory permeate every department of my life. Permeate every aspect of my life. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God that you will see and experience this new wave of glory in every area. Let the new wave of glory permeate your marriage, permeate your business, permeate your finances, permeate your children, permeate your spouse. Oh, Mariba, Tegazan, Talibama. Le brando gagaba sent Talimama Gabale Gazuta Y Blande Gagaba Reba Ba Li Pasun Tamba Le Kete Gazutalia Daddy make me oh God I am my entire household I and every member of City of Life Oh, partaker of the new wave of glory. <laughs> it doesn't matter how sweet our past is. Lord, let our future be far glorious and sweeter. Let the new wave of glory permeate every life, every man, every woman in the church. Thank you, my dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Precious Father, we say thank you. For yet another opportunity to seek you this hour. Lord, I set our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for the first service. Thank you for the second service. Thank you for your servant that you use. Thank you for the just concluded Sunday school. Lord, I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, your word it is written, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Lord, this third, third service, Lord, let them be far better and glorious in the name of Jesus. Lord, everyone say amen. Wherever you hear a louder amen, Lord, make up partaker of the new wave of glory in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life this hour that the new wave of glory will permeate every spectrum, every aspect, every department of your life in the name of Jesus. Where there used to be shame, glory we overthrow shame. Where there used to be reproach, glory we overthrow reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where there used to be stagnation and backwardness, glory we overthrow them in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we go into your world, speak expressly to us. Glorify your name. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I tell the blog, I will say it better and it louder. Jam your hands together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate, let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Hallelujah. And let me be seated in his presence. You are almost welcome in Jesus' name. I always envy those of us that attend third service. Do you know why? You carry everything. Praise the Lord. <laughs> what those in the previous services could not carry, you always carry more than them. And so I pray that you'll be loaded this, this, this morning in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for the life of our beloved pastor from my Brazil, Sao Paulo. Let's celebrate Pastor Sunday Israel uh, and for how God has used him in the second service. Praise the Lord. Pastor, you are welcome, sir. The Lord continue to uphold you in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 4 and 5. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 4 and 5. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Verse 5. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. Can I pray for somebody very quickly? That way the mouth of the Lord has spoken. There will be a performance in your own life. This morning we want to talk briefly on the topic. Lord reveal your glory in me is a prayer and this prayer is a necessary prayer because you can't be talking about a new wave of glory if God will not reveal his glory the bible says all glory belongs to God and so, if you desire a new wave of glory, it takes God and God alone to steer up a new wave of glory. And one way that God steer up a new wave of glory is by revealing his glory at that point in time. Praise the Lord. And so, if you say, Lord, reveal your glory to me. You are praying the will of God for your life. For the Bible says, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And from that test, when God reveals his glory, it's not usually hidden. And that's why the Bible says, and all flesh shall see it. Can I pray for only one person? Everyone around will soon see the glory of God in your life. They will see the manifestation of his glory. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Yeah. Beloved, it is the will of God when you pray, Lord, reveal your glory to me because not only that our flesh will see it, but it is the mouth of God that has spoken it. And that that the Lord has spoken, the Bible says, it will come to pass. Praise the Lord. 
And so in your life, the glory of God shall be revealed. The question is, how does God reveal his glory? In the first service, we are able to look at some ways, some few points through which God usually reveals his glory in the life of a man. May I quickly answer this question? Why is it that God we always want to reveal his glory in the life of a man? The answer is simply any time God is about to steer up a new wave of glory, he anchor it on the person. He anchor it through a man. And my prayer for somebody here under the influence of my voice, you will be that fellow to be single out. That in your family, in your neighborhood, God Almighty will use you to anchor a new wave of glory. How does God reveal his glory through us? Number one, God reveal his glory through his riches and honor. Through his what? Riches and honor. When God wants to reveal his glory, he does so through his riches and honor. In Genesis 45 verse 13, Joseph was talking to his brethren. After the brethren came to Egypt and saw with their eyes the fulfillment of the dream that they never wanted to come to pass. Can I pray for you, sir? All those that have been fighting your dreams, fighting your vision, they will soon bow to that dream. Yeah. Only one person is saying amen. Yeah. So the brothers of Joseph came to Egypt. They saw, they heard, and where they were going, Joseph sent them on errand. Joseph did what? He sent them on errand. He said, so you shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt. Of what? Eh? All my glory in Egypt and of all that you have seen and you shall hurry and bring my father down here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What do they see? What do they see? They saw his honor. They saw the riches. They saw the wealth. They saw the prosperity. They saw the authority and power that Joseph manifested in Egypt before their glaring eyes. I am praying for somebody here today in that name that is above every other name. By riches and honor, God will reveal his glory in your life. If you read 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 12 and 13, 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 12 and 13, God said, Behold, I have done according to your word. See, I have given you what? A wise and understanding heart. So that there has not been anyone like you before you, and nor shall any like you arise after you. He said, And I have also given you what you have not asked, both riches and honor. <coughs> both what? Riches and honor. So that there shall not be anyone like you among the kings all your days. And so, when Jesus was talking about glory, he referred to the glory of Solomon. He referred to what? The glory of Solomon. Why? The glory of Solomon was made manifest 
through riches and honor. Can you stand on your feet for a minute? We are talking about a new wave of glory. You experience that new wave when God reveals his glory through you. For somebody hearing me here today, this God, the Almighty, will reveal his glory through you. So lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, by your riches and honor, reveal your glory in my life and let me experience a new wave of glory. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Masuka la brande kason talia. Cry to him, cry to him, cry to him. By riches and honor, he revealed his glory in the life of Solomon. He can do the same. Kalima mama kasan talima mama. Kale baba baba baba. Pore branda kasan talia. Somebody will see the glory of God. Somebody will see the glory of God. Hey, masun talima mama. Hey, masu kala mama. Kalima mama kashen tele brande kasan talia. Kabala mama mama. Kele braga san talima mama. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Through riches and honor, God will reveal his glory in your life. Let me sit here. How does God reveal his glory? For someone that desires to experience a new wave of glory. In Exodus chapter 33, verses 18 and 19, the Bible gave us a clue to how God can reveal his glory and steer a new wave of glory. In verse 18 of Exodus 33, just like every one of us seated here, Moses prayed a prayer and he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. In other words, Moses was telling God, please reveal your glory through me. Can somebody say, please reveal your glory through me? And God answered him. He said, don't worry. I will reveal my glory through you. And what did he say to him? Let's read it together in verse 19. And he said, I will make all my goodness do what? pass before thee I will make what? in other words when the Bible says and the glory of the law shall be revealed when God wants to reveal his glory he calls his goodness to pass before us can I pray for only one person this season of a new wave of glory. God Almighty will reveal his glory in your life. He will satisfy your mouth with all his goodness. If you are that fellow, let your neighbor know that you are the one. I say if you are that fellow, say it loud and clear. Don't forget, it was no man that was talking. It was God responding to Moses. Moses said, show me your glory. I need a new wave of glory. That's our test for the month. Show me your glory. He says, I will make all my goodness. Little wonder David declared, in Psalm 23 verse 6 after he was anointed with oil he said surely he said what? surely goodness and mercy shall do all. follow me what was David say? he said God will always reveal his glory in my sir there is no how God's goodness will manifest in your life and shame will be retained there is no way God's goodness will manifest in your life and there will be reproach. I pray for you, sir. The goodness of God will surround you. Yeah. Number three. Moses asked, show me thy glory. 
In other words, reveal your glory to me. Not only did God answer him, I will make all my goodness pass before you. God further went ahead and said, I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee. Brethren, one of the name of the Lord is King of Glory. When God proclaimed his name before you, sir, many a time when we pray, we thank God, not for anything, but for your name's sake. And if you read Philippians chapter 2, verse 8, verse 9 and 10, he said, I'll be given a name that is above every other name. At the mentioning of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. So if God is saying, I am going to proclaim my name before you, it means everything must bow before you. Can I pray for only one person? That you came here this morning. In that name that is above every other name, your situation will bow before you. Your circumstances will bow before you. Your enemy will bow before you. In the name of Jesus. Because the name of the Lord is connected and attached to you. Your enemy will not prevail over you. Little wonder God said to Joshua. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. He said no man shall be able to withstand thee all the days of thy life. Why? Because the name of the Lord is attached to him. And the Bible says the name of the Lord a strong tower. The righteous run into it. What happened to them? They are saved. So when God wants to reveal his glory in us, he proclaims his name. Because the name of God is connected to you, I decree your enemy will never prevail over you. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Then, number four, God answering Moses said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. I will proclaim my, the name of the Lord before thee. Then he said, and I and will be gracious to whom I will be what? Gracious. And I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Brethren, glory is a product of mercy. Tama. If only God can just show you mercy. If only God Listen to me, sir. Some of us are standing here today. Why? Not because we are righteous. Not because we are wise. Not because we know anything. It's just sheer grace and mercy of God. Brethren, I am yet to see a man that God show mercy and does not know glory. I am here to see. That's why the Bible says he that he called he justified. He that he justified he glorified. Sir, ma, journey to glory begins with mercy. Can somebody lift up his or her hand and say, Lord, show me mercy? Uh, only one person. Can you say loud and clear and say, Lord, show me mercy? Listen to me, sir. It takes mercy of God even to move from glory to glory. I was telling them where I went to minister few minutes ago I said I know a man he was a commissioner in this state 
Lagos. Not just a baby commissioner. Commissioner for works and housing. Do you know what it means to be commissioner for works in a state like Lagos? As a matter of fact, when I used to know the man, he owned an estate. But before he died, <laughs> he was walking about with bedroom slippers. No bicycle, no Okada, no to talk of car. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Brethren, that's why I pray for all of us. When God begins to lift you up, when God begins to show you mercy, please don't give room to pride. Anything God has blessed you with, anything God has given you, ask Him to clothe you with humility. Because, sir, you are not better than anybody. It's just that you are found mercy. Modupe, Moria Nuba, Modupe, Emiria Nuba, Toriki Nuba. If not for your mercy, if not for your grace, Lord, if not for your faithfulness, I shall be no more. Look at me, sir. I am holding this microphone here, standing here, not because I am better than any of you. No. No. Not at all. Just the mercy and the grace of God. Do you know what? No matter the situation you are in, with the mercy of God, there can be change. What did Moses pray for? Lord, show me your glory. God said, You want to see my glory? You want to see my glory revealing you? No problem. All oh, my goodness. My name. Praise God. And my mercy. Then you will see his glory. Brethren, one thing the mercy will do for you is to pardon your iniquities and transgressions. Because you can't experience glory without God, first and foremost, forgiving you your sins. How many of us can stand if God will mark iniquity? The Bible says, if the Lord will mark iniquity, who can stand? Who? 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 All eyes closed. All heads bow down. But then we are talking about new wave of glory. It's coming. It's coming. It's not going to pass you by. But you need this mercy for forgiveness. Particularly if you are here to surrender your life to Christ. Or you have done so, but you backslid it. You need this mercy this morning. He said, I will show mercy to who I will show mercy. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. In Romans, he went ahead and said, For it is not of him that will it, or him that run it, it is the law that showeth mercy. you are here this morning 
You want his glory revealed in you. But you need his mercy. You want to say, Lord, forgive me. I acknowledge my iniquities and my transgression before you. Please pardon me. I want to rededicate your life. You are the only one to lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. My sister, God bless you. My brother, God bless you. You are raising that hand, raised above your head. Can I just help me attend to them? If you are raising that hand, can you please come to the altar? Please come, please come, please come. All eyes closed. We are not at a film show. God wants to show mercy on some people this afternoon. God bless you, my daughter. Is there any other person? Is there any other person? Don't leave here this afternoon without genuinely surrendering your life to Christ. Salvation is not a member of city of light. Salvation is not I go to redeem Christians of God. Salvation is genuine encounter and determination to do the will of God. So if you have not done so, please come now. I'll count one to three for the benefit of those of us that are still contemplating. Should I go out? Should I not go out? After the count of three, I'll go. I'll continue and close the service. One. Two. The door is open. Door of salvation. Door of rededication. Thank you, Father. My Father, my God, I want to thank you for the life of your daughter here before your altar. Lord, is it not written in your word that you be gracious to whom you will be gracious? You will be merciful to whom you will be merciful. Here is your daughter. Lord, reveal your glory through her and fight every works of flesh and grant her victory. For by your victory, my Father, my God, you will reveal your glory. Lord, fight for her in the name of Jesus. That she will never go back to the world anymore. You remove her name from the book of death and destruction. You rewrite her name in the book of life. And at your returning, she will reign with you. Thank you, mighty Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. My daughter, God bless you. Please kindly follow that, my sister, one minute. Let's put our hand together for Jesus. Follow her, follow her. Put those hands together for Jesus. The Bible says there's rejoicing in heaven over a single soul that is saved. The rest of all, can we please lift up our two hands to heaven? We want to take this prayer point. And I'm giving you only one because my time is up. You want to lift up your voice loud and clear. I say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, whatever it will cost, whatever it will take, oh God, my Father, reveal your glory in my life by riches and honor. By all your goodness. By proclaiming your name before me. By your grace and mercy. Lord, reveal your glory in me. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you please talk to the Almighty God? Whatever it will take, whatever it will cost. The greatest thing that can happen to you is for God to reveal his glory in your life. The moment God reveals his glory, you will enter into a new wave of glory. <laughs> his glory must be revealed before you experience a new wave of glory. Ask him to reveal his glory by riches and honor, by prosperity. Oh, masikala brakatogala. By proclaiming his name before you, by all his goodness, by his grace and mercy, by victory, let God reveal his glory in your life. Palima so tambale borebra gaye katabalama santolia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can you please stretch out your hands to the altar, brethren? Like we'll be talking tomorrow on the new anointing. Elisha did not experience a new wave of glory until 
the glory of God was revealed to him. That was why the master said to him, if you can see me. And he saw, what did he saw? He saw the glory of God. He saw the chariot of fire. He saw the horses of fire. And he said, I can see. And from that day, he entered into a new wave of glory. Step forward your hands to the altar. In that name that is above every other name. Whatever it will take, whatever it will cause, from this day, may the almighty God reveal his glory through you. In the name of Jesus. By his riches and honor, let God reveal his glory through you. By proclaiming his name, by all his goodness, by his grace and mercy, by victory, let God reveal his glory to you in the name of Jesus. As the Lord reveal his glory to you, let it terminate shape. Let every reproach in your life be rolled away. And you will surely and certainly be partaker of the new wave of glory. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful amen like thunder. I want to go. Two. And. Uh, Hallelujah.